made a separate video about it for those that missed it. And I'll post the link in the comment section. I'll pin it to the top. Your girl Ashley Darby got into an argument with Candace Dillard Bassett. And basically what Candace said to her was like, look, your husband, Michael Darby. Yeah. What he does is he leaves the house. He leaves you. And he goes to this other man's house. And she said the man's name. Remember, this is all alleged. And let's just say that Michael be in a mouthful. Allegedly, that's what she said. That doesn't mean it's true, but that's what she said. Anyway, Michael is now like, oh, word, you want to say that about me? Well, I'm going to sue you for $2 million now for defamation. Or as Cardi B would say, <coughs> defamation of character. And well, now Katie Ross has entered the chat. Yeah, Katie Ross, the girl who was a beautiful, very beautiful woman who used to be on the show, who wants to be back on the show, basically says some stuff on Twitter. And not only did she put out some information on Twitter, some tweets, basically saying that she was on Candace's side and she's against Michael doing this whole lawsuit thing. Well, the Jasmine brand posted a story about it. Then she responded to the Jasmine brand story with another tweet. So I'm going to read to my baby Katie. I'm, excuse me, I'm a big fan of Katie Ross. I'm going to tell you what Katie said on Twitter. She said, now make sure you click the thumbs up button while you're listening. Subscribe and choose all notifications. The links to the other two channels are in the description box. Make sure you at least say hi in the comment section if you don't know what to say. But I have a question before I read you these tweets. Do you think that Katie Ross should have said something sticking up for her friend? If you think she's right, I, I mean, not that what she's saying is right, that it's okay that she's sticking up for Candace, say she's right. You know, like she's supposed to stick up for her girl. Or if you think that she should have just not said anything, say sit down. That'll let me know what side you're on. I'm glad that Katie Ross spoke up, though. That's my girl. She said, and I'm reading this from the bottom up. She said, I read something ridiculous. It better be a joke. Michael, don't F with at the real Candace. Slowly back away, son. You know, she's from the DMV. She said, hold up. I'm not the type to hold grudges. But I do remember someone telling me what a loser I was for dating broke dudes after having three kids. How you doing, hon? Full circle. I think she's allegedly referring to Ashley Darby. Allegedly. She goes on to say, I'll accept the apology and get your man in check. And then she also went on to say, this is so random. But I remember being at a concert with at the real Candace at Wolf Trap. And we had the best time ever rocked out. What is Wolf Trap? Anyway, she said that to let y'all know that she's really friends with Candace. So when the Jasmine brand posted the article about Katie, Ashley and Candace titled Real Housewives of Potomac, a loom. Katie Ross slams Ashley Darby's estranged husband for suing Candace Dillard Bassett for two million dollars over oral allegations. It better be a joke. Candace said, I did not stick up for at the real Candace to try to get my job back. I stuck up for her because it's the right thing to do and because I know stuff. Accurate article from the at the Jazza brand. Don't get it twisted. It was a genuine response to bullshit from Michael. Not my job hunt. And for those that don't know, I made a separate video about this. My baby Katie Ross is working at, what is it called? Golden Wings, Wild Wings? It was some sort of place. It's like a golf place. She was, I don't know if she's a golf caddy. She's working at a store over there on the property of the golf course. I, I, I don't know what's going on, but she was working like a regular nine to five job. From what I understand, allegedly working for like minimum wage, like $14 an hour or something. So she's like living like a regular person for the most part. And let's be real here. My baby Katie Ross deserves the best. She deserves a rich man. And I had, I had already, quote, simped in the other video about it. I'll make sure that I link that video at the top of the comment section for those that missed it. But, you know, she, she deserves to be taken care of. Some women just deserve to be fan and fed grapes. You know, can't, can't I almost call it the wrong name. See, I'll be calling my chicks the wrong names. This is, see, this is what got me in trouble last time, the last half of um, Katie Ross is a very beautiful woman. And a very beautiful woman like her deserves to be worshipped. This is what we need to be doing. We need to be getting these beautiful women and rubbing feet, bros. That's what we need to be doing. You know, treat them right, like Chubb Rock said. Anyway, so let me know you made it all the way into the end of the video. The secret password to say in the comment section is, if you want to see Katie Ross back on the show, which I do. I know this is a separate issue, but this is my girl. I need to, I need to see where you guys' heads are at. If you want to see her back on the show, say, bring her back. If you don't want her to be back on the show and you're a hater, because you're obviously a hater if you don't, F with Katie Ross. They say leave her off. And that'll let me know which side you guys are on. And I'm going to cuss you out if you say leave her off. If you don't know, say I don't know. If you don't care, say I don't care. If you don't care, why are you here? I'm going to cuss you out in the comment section if you say I don't care. All right, y'all. I got to go back to Katie Ross's Instagram with this bottle of lotion and mind my business.